the moment you speak anything contradicting to god's word then it becomes a evil work when they say those people are strong that was not the evil report when they said they are giants that was not the evil report but the moment they said we cannot go and occupy that place that has become a evil report uh, put that in you know, uh, a number 13 verse number 29 30 put in nrs um, numbers 13 mm, go down not compare i did not ask compare ah uh, nrs go down okay okay 30 30 verse number 30 now see this but caleb quieted the people before moses and said let us go up at once and occupy it for we are able to overcome it now what did caleb say let us go and occupy the place because we are able why he is saying we are able because god has given us this land then the men who had gone up with him said we are not able to go up against this people for they are stronger than we now what did god promise god said god promised them that god has given them the promised land and god told them to what go into the promised land and occupy the promised land correct so what did joshua speak did he speak the problem or did he speak what god promised what god promised he spoke what god promised god promised them to go and occupy the land but what did the other people said no we can't we are not able to go up against this people the moment we speak contradicting to what god promised then it becomes a evil report okay for example if somebody is saying uh, doctor said i have the sickness there's nothing wrong in saying this is what the report says this is what doctor says there is nothing wrong it's a fact but the moment you say because the doctor said i won't be healed the moment you said i won't be healed or the sickness is very severe or there is no no cure for the sickness that very moment you gave a evil report report so how you have to say this is what the doctor say but but i believe that by the wounds of jesus i am healed okay so what is a evil report the evil report is not when you speak the fact but the evil report is when you speak contradicting to god's word god's promise then it becomes a evil report report did you understand yes or no let, let nod your head let me see okay okay good good thank you praise god now now let's go to the next verse okay so they brought to the israelites an unfavorable in the other translation i that's why i want to show you the other translation in the other translation we saw evil report here we see unfavorable report of the land that they had spied out saying the land that we have gone through a spies in a land is a land that devours its inhabitants 
and all the people that we saw in uh, in it are of great size so how how the people were they were great size they were huge have you seen bodybuilders have you seen weightlifters bodybuilders yeah you would have yeah. seen right how do they look big right strong correct yes. big muscles so that's how the people were how they were they were very strong big in size now see this 33rd verse they we saw the nephilim the anakites come from nephilim and to ourselves put that enoch 33 Enoch, thirty-three. But yeah, they saw the Nephilim, the Anakites come from Nephilim, and to ourselves we seemed like grasshoppers, and so we seem to them. Now I want you to see this verse. There is something that we are going to learn from this verse. Okay, how? Did the Israelites see themselves? How did they see themselves? Yeah, read me, Jerica, Joanna. Yeah. How did they see themselves? Like like grasshoppers. Like grasshoppers. 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 How did they see the people in the promised land? Big. Giant, and they saw themselves small grasshoppers. They saw those giants. Oh, big! Now this picture says, "And to ourselves we seemed like." Means what? They were imagining themselves very small. How many of you have heard about David? I... Yeah, you have heard. that david went and killed goliath all of you right now how was goliath small or big very big. big very big right he also was a giant correct yes how was david small small very boy. small 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 correct? boy now even though david was small how did he see himself Big or small? Big. Big. How did he imagine himself? Big. Big. Why did he imagine himself big? Not because he is big, because the God who is with him is big. Big. Correct. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Now, how do you imagine about yourself? Joshua is saying like, what is that, Joshua? Small. How many times we see ourselves? I am very sick. I always, ah, uh, you know, fall sick. How many times we imagine? I can't understand this uh, Max. I don't can't understand the science. How many times we feel like that? So many, many, many times. Many times. Many. So how are you imagining? Small or big? Small. 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 Now, how was David imagining? He was imagining himself. What he saw in the physical, or did he imagine how God saw him? How, how God, God saw him. How God, how God saw him. So, how are we supposed to imagine? Like how we see in the physical, or how God sees us? How, how God, God sees. Us. How God sees us. Okay. Now here, how are the Israelites seeing themselves? Like how God is seeing, or they are seeing themselves grasshopper. Like grasshopper. Grasshoppers. Every time like you see yourself weak, how you see yourself, you what what mentality you have, you have grasshopper. Grasshopper mentality. mentality. How many of you have grasshopper mentality? Remember, we we learnt about we learnt about imagination. 
Did we learn? Yes. What is imagination? Yes. Okay, we will write it down and then we will study. Okay? Can we write? Okay. Praise God. Imagination. Imagination. Helps you to see imagination. Helps you to see what you can't, what helps you, helps you imagination helps you see what can't be seen. Imagination helps you see what can't be seen. Do you understand? Yes. Imagination helps you to see what can't be seen. Seen. Okay. I'll give you an example. Okay? Now, where all my life, as I told you in testimony, I used to be very weak in my studies, right? I have told, right? And I used to fall sick often, correct? Now, when I say dog, okay, dog, what do you imagine? Dog. D O G. What do you imagine the image of a dog? A uh, figure of a dog. Um, okay. Image. Figure. When I say black color dog, now what do you imagine? Black, black, color, black dog. color dog. When I say black color dog with white dots, then I imagine black black color dog, dog with white spots. So now, is my words creating imagination? Yes. 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 So, do words create imagination? Yes. yes. Now, I told you all my life I was sick, correct? Now, yes. when I started to spend more time with the word of God, does the word of God also create godly imagination? Yes. 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 And I said, black color dog, those words created what? Imagination. Correct? Yes. Okay, how many of you know uh, Cameron? Cameron? Yeah? How many of you like Cameron? Emily, right? Tam Cameron, Emily. Correct? Okay, I only can see a few hands. Joanna? Let me, let me ask her. Do you like yeah. Cameron? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Now, said the word tamarind. Do you like it? Do you eat, Joanna? Yes. Yes. Which one? It's sour. Yeah. With salt. Do you eat with salt or plain? I eat with sugar. You eat with sugar. Now, Joanna, when I started to speak about tamarind, is your saka coming in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah. Did I show you a real tamarind? No. 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 Did I only speak the word tamarind? Yes. Did that get into your imagination? Yes. That Did it, that react in your body? Yes. And did saliva come in your mouth? Yes. Even though I did not show you the real tamarind? Yes. Yeah? So can you see how words can impact your imagination, even the reaction in your body, even the, the, the secretion of saliva in your body? Can you see? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mariana, you're saying something. What you're saying? I'm not saying anything. Ah, okay. I thought you're saying something. Did you understand? Okay. In the same way, when you have the word of God, okay, and when you start spending time with the word of God, the word of God is full of life. Yes, the word of God is full of power. Correct? The word of God is God's spirit himself. 
if an ordinary word tamarind can bring so much saliva all your water your all your mouth is fully watered now <laughs> that word can impact you so much how much can the word of god impact so what i did is when i started saying i'm healed by the wounds of jesus physically i was still seeing the sickness but then i started to use my imagination and i saw myself healthy words produce imagination correct are you understanding yes or no yes so when i started to speak the word of god day and night i started to see myself healthy first i started to imagine then whatever i started to imagine started to manifest words produce imagination and now whatever you start, what words you expose yourself will produce imagination then that imagination will change your physical body as well okay now for example healing the sick okay when i read okay when the believer lay hand on the sick the sick shall recover now everything is saying you can lay hand on the sick correct when you pray yes. how will you get that question or not jesus is powerful some preacher is powerful or some priest or somebody who spiritual can pray how can i pray and get healed that's when what you know what i did i started imagining i started imagining what i started to imagine jesus your word says when when the believer lay hand on the sick the sick shall be recovered so i started to imagine when i lay hand on the sick jesus in me is laying hand and the sick getting healed the deaf ears getting healed the blind eyes opening now whatever i started to imagine every day slowly i started it to see manifest now on the, the other day joshua is asking will a leg grow so if joshua want to see leg growing he has to start imagining every day not through his power but the power of the holy spirit nobody can do it with our own power correct so joshua has to start imagining jesus you said when the believer lay hand on the sick the sick shall be recovered you said go over shall speak to this mountain then he, he has to speak to the leg the arms and he has to imagine the legs are growing the arms are growing what you don't imagine will not happen in the reality are you understanding yes anything that has to come in the physical first you have to take the word of god and you have to start imagining now what is the problem with the israelites even though god gave them the promised land what did they do they started to imagine themselves like grasshoppers as long as they are going to see themselves as grasshoppers they cannot go against or they cannot go and occupy the place that god has given them Did you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So, okay, okay, write down, okay? As we write, we will study this. What did you write? Imagination helps you see what can't be seen. Ah, write down. Imagination creates the picture. Imagination creates the picture. imagination creates the picture in your mind imagination creates the picture in your mind imagination creates the pictures pictures creates the pictures in your mind that help you that help you that help you remember that help you remember read and plan imagination creates the pictures in your mind that help you remember read and plan okay 
Now let, let me ask you some questions, okay? Imagination, what it will help you? It will help you to create, create a picture. Yes, pictures in your mind, it will help you for three things. What is that? Remember, Remember read, plan. Remember, read, and, read and, plan. and plan. Read and plan. plan. Remember and lay plan. Okay, now, I'll ask you no. uh, Maybe you are in, in, in the school, okay, and you're playing. And uh, somebody is asking you how to go to the principal's office. Correct? Maybe the principal office is little far after two or three buildings away. Okay? Now, will you start imagining? Yes. Let's see where, yeah. You will say go straight yes. and then go right and then there will be steps and then go up and then you will see the second. Now, will you see everything in the imagination? Yes. And yes. That means what? Everything that you remember, you remember in imagination. imagination. Correct? Yes. Yes. Now, for example, another example. If I ask you, how many windows are there in your house? How many windows are there? Not in your room, in your house. Four. Four. No, no, don't go and count. Jahaya, sit in your place and count. No going to your house. Sit in your place and tell me. Ten. Four. Why? Four. What uh, is the house? Seven. Seven. Seven altogether. He asked Joshua. He's still counting. Why? Uh, did you finish counting, Joshua? Okay, count. To you. A little more time. Five. Seven. No going, huh? Sit in your place and count. No asking mommy also. Seventeen. Okay. Joshua. You know, I wanted... Okay, okay, okay. Now listen to this, Joshua. Now this room where you are sitting, you were able to see with your eyes, right? Yeah. Other rooms, did you remember in numbers or did you see in your yeah. imagination? Yeah. yeah. Imagination. Ah, you went into your imagination and then you start counting the windows, correct? Yeah. How many of you did that? Say yes. Let me see. Nod your head. Yes. That means you don't remember the number of windows in numbers, but you remember in imagination. So when I asked you how many windows are there in your house, you went into some, Jahaya went, got up and she started to count. So I told her, no, no, you have to sit. Then what happened? You went in your imagination and then you started to count. Correct? That means what? Everything that you remember, you remember in imagination. You don't even know, but everything that you, you, you think you plan, you remember, is in imagination. Are you understanding? Yes. Now, can you see how important imagination is? Yes. 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 Now, these imaginations are very, very important. Okay. When it comes to the spiritual realm, especially for me to see what God has already done for me. For example, Abraham was imagining I am childless. So as long as he's going to see himself childless, he will not have children. So first he has to see himself, imagine himself how? A father of many, many nations. Are you understanding? Now, yes. what happened to the Israelites is, they started to imagine themselves like grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. As long as they are going to see themselves as grasshoppers and those people as giants, even though God gave them the promised land, they have no guts to go. Only what you imagine is what will manifest. Are you understanding? Yes. Yes. 
Sara, did you understand, Sara? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, now write it, okay? Okay. So what did you write? Imagination creates the picture in your mind that helps you remember, read, and plan. Now, this is very important. But, but, imagination can only work, but imagination can only work, only work with the information you give it. Can you repeat? Imagination, but imagination can only work, but imagination can only work but imagination can only work with the information you give it okay that is good or bad right or wrong Did you understand? So your imagination will only work based on the information you give to yourself. Correct? If you are going to give, you are going to feed yourself with the information of the world. That's why I told you about violent games and anything that is contradicting to the word of God. When you feed yourself with those kind of information, that will create imagination that is contradicting to God's word, that is violent. Whatever is your imagination is what will ultimately manifest in your life. That's why I have to always feed myself the information that comes from the word of God. Now, the more information, for example, forgiveness. Now, you may not be able to forgive someone who hurts you. But if you start feeding yourself with taking scriptures about forgiveness and start, you know, studying it. Now, those information that you receive will produce imagination that now you see yourself forgiving, walking in love. Are you understanding? You can never love or you can never forgive if you don't feed yourself with the information from the word of God. So if you are going to feed yourself with any information that is not godly, then your imagination also is not godly. Correct? Why is that you get bad imagination or bad thoughts? It is because of the bad information that we receive. What information did the Israelites receive? They are giants. If they would have been feeding themselves with the information God gave them, that God gave them the land with milk and honey, then they would have not allowed themselves to see like grasshoppers, but they would have seen themselves going and occupying the place God gave. Okay. Yeah, Christopher, if, if your questions only connected to what we are learning now, okay? Yeah, I gave you unmute. Christopher? Okay, maybe it's a mistake. Okay, did you understand up till here? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, as long as, as long as, they imagined negative and they saw themselves as grass hopeless. Okay? Even though God gave them the promised land, what stopped them from going into the promised land? They all yeah. feel Imagine. they imagination. Own imagination, exactly. Their own negative imagination. In the same way, even though God has promised you healing, even though God has promised you protection, even though God has pro promised you blessing, prosperity, all those things, 
only if your imagination is is aligned with agrees with the word of god only then you will see god's promise manifesting in your life if your imagination is going to be contradicting to god's word then your own imagination will stop you from receiving what god has for you did you understand yes 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 joshua you understood yes okay now did the did the israelites go into the promised land no no yes. the next only caleb and the joshua. next generation yeah generation and joshua and the next generation went into the promised land others they all remained in the wilderness wilderness okay now who is responsible did god put them in the wilderness or their own wrong imagination wrong thinking unbelief made them to remain in the wilderness their, their own, own imagination, imagination unbelief. unbelief wrong imagination so many, so many times in our life why do we see failure why do because we of the wrong imagination because of the wrong imagination ah so if you have to change your imagination what you have to change your words okay we wrote just now we wrote what we have to change the information the that information we... so we i have to check from where do i get this information if somebody is coming and saying about something or some sickness or some is the information from god's word no if you start seeing yourself oh i have corona i have covid i got the sickness if you start imagining then will you see healing or will you see sickness sickness sickness, sickness. sickness. so where is your information coming from yeah riya let us what riya is asking yeah riya oh uh, i unmuted myself by mistake sorry yeah it's okay oh you do not you don't have any question yeah uh no 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 question it's clear oh. okay okay now i'm going to show you something else okay we are going to joshua chapter 2 verse 8 but before putting that don't put you know before putting that now this incident took place after so many years okay of the next generation they all died in the wilderness nobody went into the promised land okay now after so many years now joshua is sending two only two earlier how many they sent 12 but now joshua is only sending two why is only sending two he doesn't want to send anybody who has no faith okay he's sending only two people to spy the from flat okay now we are going to see when these people went into the promised land okay land. this is after so many years when the, the next generation okay okay put that joshua uh, chapter 2 verse 8 yeah one minute praise the lord praise the lord Okay. Okay. Before they went to sleep, she came up to them on the roof. Now there is a lady. Okay, these two of them who has come to spy the promised land. There is one lady who hid them in their house. Okay, she was giving them place to stay. Okay, so she, they both were staying in this lady's house. Okay. before they went to sleep she came unto them on the roof now these are the words she is speaking and said to the men i know that the lord has given you the land now what she saying i know the lord has given you the land land the dread of you 
has fallen on us and all the inhabitants for the for the land melt in fear before you you know what she's saying she's saying okay i'll read the 10th to us also okay for we have heard how the lord dried up the water of the red sea before you before you and when you came out of egypt and what you did to the two kings of amorites and uh, amorites that way beyond the jordan to so shion uh, and og whom you utterly destroyed now see the 11th verse as soon as what is that as soon as we heard it our hearts melted and they was put that 11th verse inok and there was no courage and there was no courage left in any of us because of you the lord your god is indeed god in heaven above and on earth below you know what she's saying okay i'll explain to you okay what we read i'll explain to you you know she is saying that on that day when god brought you out of the promised land when the very day so many years ago 40 years ago okay when god brought them out how did he brought them he parted the red sea he dried the red sea and they came walking through the sea right right now what she saying in the 11th verse as soon as we heard on that time when we heard the news immediately all our hearts means everybody in the promised land all their hearts were melted and there were no courage left in any of us what is she saying the very day god brought you out of egypt that very day our hearts were all melted there was not even a single man in this promised land who had courage to stand against you if they would have directly marched inside they would have willingly given the land did you understand that means god already prepared the people in the land nobody had courage to come against them or to fight but what stopped the israelites to come into the promised land they they own an imagination imagination can't believe come here understood did i go very fast no no not for me you know i'm not asking you all others did you understand yes or no no what what yes okay okay now remember in the, even in the natural god already changed the heart of the people who were in the promised land what is this lady saying what is this woman sh- saying she is saying the very day you came out of egypt uh, nobody had courage to come against everybody saw that the lord who is with you is so powerful and all our hearts were melted all that the israelites should have done is they should have believed what god promised and they should have walked in but they own fear their own imagination that kept them in the wilderness and they died in the wilderness okay you can remove the scripture now do you remember what we learned in hebrews 4 to the gospel was preached to them the good news is preached to them just like how it was preached to us but the gospel that was preached did not benefit them because they did not mix their faith remember the story of the man who went on the cross same story god already gave but their own fear their own negative imagination kept them away from enjoying the best god has given now let me ask you a question how many of you want to have grasshopper mentality 
No. So are you going to feed yourself every day from the information from the Bible? Yes. Now, when you are going to get the information, the words that we receive creates what? Imagination. Imagination. Correct? So if you yes. have to imagination then you have to change the information that you receive every day because it is my own negative imagination my own grasshopper mentality is what stops me from receiving what god has already provided thank you jesus did you understand yes please Okay, sharp time is stopped. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yeah, sister. Uh, thank you, Jocelyn. It was actually, I was also imagining, you know, mostly our fear comes first. When we imagine things, we always imagine about the bad things going to happen, oh, not exactly. the good things most of the time. So, yes. you know, the, you know, when you were talking about the tamarind, even the, mouth was watering i i realized it's so it's so that uh, example is so powerful it just you know the expl it explains so profoundly so thank you so much and i feel i feel you know all of us have this you know feel the word of god and then imagine the beautiful things in our life Amen. a wonderful talking talk, talk you know it was you know it was a story kind of a thing you know we keep imagining and I, i'm sure all of us, you know, all of them would have imagined great things now. And uh, okay, now Eleanor is here. El, uh, you can start the prayer and wind up. Dear Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this evening. Thank you for helping us to imagine and create pictures of faith, hope, and love. Lead us to fill our hearts with the word of God. And bless Jocelyn, auntie. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, Jocelyn, auntie, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I just heard her saying so. All right. Uh, thank you, Alistair and Enoch and everybody. And uh, see you all tomorrow. And, and all the notes are in the chat. You can all copy it or, you know, write it down. It's all, you know, go through it and read it, read it, read it. It'll all help you. Okay. Yeah. From Jehaya, it's coming again. Take it quickly so that, you know, we all can go and have dinner. Bye. 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 Bye.